Welcome in everyone, very special video for you today. I'm going to be covering the most asked question that I see, probably see this question every day on the various social medias and stuff like that. And that is what hero should I level up? Is there a tier list? Which heroes are good? If you've ever been into the Nighthood Discord server and asked for a tier list, you will have had a lot of veteran players turning around and saying no, you don't want to don't look at tier lists for this game because they don't work. And while that's true, I'm going to make something slightly different, okay? You might have seen old tier lists by old creators like Muffin Mouth or Tan Man. And these guys made these tier lists years ago. These guys made these tier lists before the Rift was a thing, before Chisels were a thing, before Mythic Armor were a thing, before Builds were a thing. The level cap was level 45. We all had whatever random gear we got out of chests. We didn't really use charms properly. The game that those guys were playing when they made those tier lists, it was completely different to the game that we've got now. It's so much more complex now with the addition of the rift, the expert rift, the mythic armor, the chisels, the ability to experiment and play around with our builds, to find the most efficient tactics available, all that stuff, we didn't have that at the time when those guys were creating. Okay, so what I'm gonna say to you at this point is complete White Peak. Get to the end of White Peak and unlock the Rift, okay? You, when you get access to the Rift, you're gonna be able to start sacrificing gear to unlock the Mythic Armor. Get your hands on that Mythic Armor as soon as you can, okay? Try and go for the sword as well because it's just better. I've done a full guide on getting to the end of White Peak and on how to build out your mythic armor. I'm probably gonna put this video in the same playlist as that guide. So go check that out if you haven't yet. But once you have got the mythic armor, you're gonna be faced with a choice, okay? This is not a choice that the game gives you. This is a choice that I'm giving you. Choose a build, choose a hero class. There are five hero classes in the game and you can boost them all with charms. Okay, by specializing in one hero class, by only filling your armor up with just one type, you're gonna make that one type of heroes so much stronger than any other hero in the game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a tier list of those classes. And then I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of each class. And I'm gonna give you a little guide of what I think is the best heroes to level up first for each class. And then I'll probably go over some heroes that it don't really matter what class you are, but if you level up these heroes, they're gonna be useful. You're gonna get utility out of them as well, just to kind of support your class as well. But yeah, by specializing in one class, you're gonna make your game so much better to play. You're gonna make yourself so much stronger and you're just gonna make the content in the game so much easier to play as well. So the first class I'm gonna go over is Alchemist. Now, if you watch my videos before, you will have seen me recommending Alchemist to newer players. And that's just because it's absolutely fantastic for PVE content, okay? You get Grim in the tutorial. You can complete the entire game with him. You can complete Karnheim with him. You can complete the Rift with him, the Expert Rift. You can take Grim from the tutorial and be everything that the game has to offer with him. Once you get him to max stars, he is just absolutely fantastic hero. Now, Alchemist does struggle a little bit versus guild bosses because it doesn't have a good distribute hero and it struggles a little bit in the arena. Now, I've already done a video with lots of arena guides as well, which I used Alchemist in that, showcasing the Brolaf combo. So it does okay, but it's not the best in PvP, arena, guild wars, that type of thing. But for PvE, for getting you into the rift, which is where progress comes from as well, which is where your charms come from. So for as a newer player, getting into the rift is important. It's going to help you progress and you're going to be able to do it free to play with Alchemist as well, which is massive. So Alchemist for me, because it's accessible and you're going to be able to play it as a free to play player, S tier. And then jumping straight from the free to play class, I'm going to talk about Hunter. Okay, this one is not free to play because the weakened hero for Hunter is Lanasa and she only gets weakened at max stars. So you're gonna have to have been playing a while in a good guild to have Lanasa max stars, or you're gonna have to not be a free-to-play player. 
to have her max stars basically don't go buying her shards from the monster cave shop okay watch the merchant video i did don't waste those uh, monster souls most important currency in the game absolutely don't do that okay so hunter it's not a bad class but it's not a great one either it's kind of middle of the road for pve okay so for in the rift in the expert rift you will find yourself using macleod because macleod is fantastic so you can delay everything on the field which means that you can cheese quite a lot if not all of the expert rift bosses so you can just delay everything i'm sure i've seen xantos do it in his videos just spamming out macleod rage every turn and delaying everything that is a pretty good way to go for the rift okay for your weaken you're gonna either be using lanasa rage or caliban base power now caliban only weakens the back row so that comes with its own sort of set of problems but if you can clear out the back row quickly with a macleod and then weaken the front row with caliban then you end up with a pretty good combo for the golems you can use lanasa rage which will get your weaken out and it will put acid on them which helps to kill them quicker but as far as a newer player punching above their weight it's not as good as say alchemist or warrior would be for the pvp you've got mika and you've got the grizz combo the grizz combo is going to need quite a lot of charms to get it to work but once you do have it working it is a pretty fun one to use the mika combo mika caliban or mika tristan it's okay but it's not as good as alda and then for guild bosses well hunter's not really that good for guild bosses either because the only distribute hero that they have is delphinia and she is blue but she is the only undead type distributor in the game so hunter is the only way you're gonna be able to set a high score on rahab or a couple of those undead guild bosses i am gonna rank on a a tier simply because it's good but it's not as good as warrior or alchemist in my opinion and then the next one this is the class that i use in the game this is warrior okay this is a great class a lot of people they start off as alchemist and convert into warrior which is not a bad way to go to be honest it does have a couple of drawbacks though so the weakened hero for warrior is logan okay and if you directly compare logan to grim grim heals on rage so the more enemies there are grim will heal you more okay so you end up getting massive heals every time you do a rage especially if there's goblin enemies about you get massive heals whereas logan logan's heal comes from his base power so in order to make this work and to get enough heals coming in you're gonna need a decent build okay so i wouldn't recommend it until you have at least sort of 250 hero power 250 percent something like that that's going to make logan pretty good but yeah he shines the more hero power you put into it the more you'll get out of logan and then you get heroes like garen so you get delay you get ericsson so you get freeze obviously that don't work in expert rift but it works in the dod and it works in portals and stuff like that so it is pretty good you get Hermes, you get queen critter you get Lance and Valin for the arena. So for PvE content with Logan and Garen, it is very good. Okay, you can go pretty far in Expert Rift with those two. For the arena, you have a couple of combos. You can use Erin, Queen Critter, Devalin, and Lance. You have a couple of combos. It's not the best, but it works. Okay, you end up with good solutions for the arena. And for guild bosses, guild bosses, you get a, quite a lot of guild boss coverage with Warrior as well you get garen for the cult guild bosses so that's the hydra and glastin the event boss you get Hermes and queen critter for the troll bosses which is the winter tide event boss and the troll hunt event boss you get erin for the lost sands event boss which is outlaw type so yeah definitely you get a lot of coverage for guild bosses from warrior as well you get good coverage in all the areas of the game from warrior so it's kind of a jack of all trades and for me it is s tier and the next one i'm going to talk about is mage now mage is the designated whale class in the game right now the weakened hero for mage is max star docio so you're going to need to get docio which is a brand new hero you're going to need to get them max stars and Max Star Azar helps as well 
which is also an event hero and he is unique so that's a lot of shards but if you do have those two max stars then you have a pretty potent combo on your hands for pve content if you don't have docky or max stars though then i wouldn't even bother trying this class because all the heroes are distributors okay you only get Dokio and herney that are not distributors so you end up if you don't have a lot of hero power or a lot of rift power you end up banging your head against the wall and not dealing a right lot of damage when there is more than a few enemies about so there's three or four enemies the damage that you're going to put out it will be quite low obviously depending on rift power and hero power how good your build is now for pvp the arena this is probably one of the best classes in the game because you get alder alder is the strongest director health hero in the game i'm not going to go into it massively because I covered it in the pvp video but yeah it's fantastic for pvp it's fa it's okay for the rift as long as you have docky or max stars and as our max stars and you get fantastic guild boss coverage as well you get balendu now balendu just got buffed and this buff makes balendu the strongest distributor hero in the game for golem guild bosses okay so that's the avatar of ocean boss now before this buff wei feng used to be able to compete for the golem high score but balendu just blows it straight out of the water with this recent buff so you've got the best distributor hero in the game for golem guild bosses and you've got Petra for beast guild bosses as well. So you get good guild boss coverage and you get far dry as well, which normally I'd only recommend you use him for his base power just to burn the front row in the portal or in the rift and that because you get you get good AoE damage out of that. But if you want to try and make side builds with health pieces and stuff, you can contend with the Hydra with far dry, although that's a painful route to tear. But yeah, it's okay in the rift fantastic in pvp and fantastic for guild bosses this one just because it's really not accessible for newer players who aren't going to be shelling out a lot of gems on hero chests and stuff i'm gonna rank it a tier because you need max star docio to really make it work in pve and in the rift and to get your progress going so that you can start collecting your charms and then the last class we've got is pretty sad to be honest but it is the rogue class and with all the recent buffs and changes to heroes and stuff like that rogue is arguably the weakest class in the game right now the weakened hero for rogue is lucius now lucius sounds fantastic on paper he's got protect on his base power and weaken on his rage except they made him a distributor so if there's any more than two enemies on the field and you're using his rage the power he's going to put out is going to be so low that you end up going around in circles and in fact i switched my main build to rogue to try out this hero when he first come out and i made a video on it it did not go well so yeah for the rift it is not great for pvp it's also not great wayfang is the strongest distributor on the rogue team and basically you just have to clear the minions out use the wayfang rage power and hope that it's enough to cut through all the armor and the health of the opponent which 99 percent of the time is not there isn't a direct to health strategy you can use with rogue and for guild bosses well i've just talked about how balindu now blows wayfang out of the water for golem guild bosses but you do have kira for beast guild bosses now the thing about kira and petra is kira and petra's stats are identical but kira's max star bonus gives her a plus 30 percent chance to crit which mage don't have that okay so if you have kira max stars she is slightly better for beast guild bosses but that is the only thing that this class has over mage and it's such a shame as well but there really isn't any redeeming qualities that i could talk about for the rogue class i mean even the gauntlet the lawful gauntlet is terrible as well so it really is a shame but the rogue class is in my opinion d tier so swiftly moving on 
once you have chosen a class and you've leveled up the weakened hero for that class so you can start getting some progress in and you've leveled up a few of the heroes that you might have from that class that i've just shown you on the screen there then you can start dipping into the other classes to kind of get your hands on some of the extra utility that might not be in your class so if you didn't go with the alchemist class the first off class heroes i would recommend you level up are Melissant and ayako because if you put these two with the chaotic gauntlet it's just such a power couple if you find ajax in the dark onslaught dungeon it makes it so easy for that flaw after that you can start dipping into the weakened heroes from all the other classes to help you in the dod if you think you need it uh, you've got Herne or oh. Lucan for the poison, poison utility. Lucan stuns like Melissa. He charges up in free actions if you put him with a hunter speed gauntlet as well, so very useful. Poison is fantastic to have in the Dark Onslaught dungeon as well. Queen Critter is a good one to level up because she works in a variety of PvP builds. She's a good one to have at level 60 if you do have her unlocked. MacLeod is also a good one to have at level 60 because even though he delays from level 1 he will put up some decent damage versus those backline goblins that heal everything as well as delay them with his rage power very useful hero to have and Garen as well for the same reason he delays a single target and it works from level 1 so you don't particularly need to level him up but if you do level him up you will get decent damage out of his base power as well as delaying everything even if you're not boosting warrior class with charms so that is he's a good one to level up and bayani gets a special mention as well because he has single target exposed but the chance of it working i think it's pretty broken because you can level him up to sort of level 40 i think somewhere as low as level 40 and it would just work all the time you will hardly ever see it fail if it is failing level him up to 45 or 50 but i think around level 40 it'll just work 90 percent of the time so bayani is a great wingman to take with you regardless of what class you are but the thing that makes him good is that you don't really need to level him up that far to get use out of him and i think i will leave it there so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, I have been James B09. Good luck out there.